Well, welcome. It's been it's been quite a while since my last uh, YouTube video, and uh, I've I've decided to to you know start it up again uh, with a with an update to a tutorial. It's been about a couple of years that I've made a tutorial, small tutorial tutorial on how to make a island in Gaia, and. Uh, in the meantime, Gaia has been updated, and back then I had been asked to to you know if I could do that tutorial. And as it just so happened, uh, I've been asked again uh, to to show you know how an island you know works, especially because the way I used to do it in the previous version of Gaia no longer worked, and I, I had to kind of like look into it a little bit. Uh, because it's it's definitely different, and you know the 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 particular you know node that I was using back then still exists, but the function that I was using within that node is gone. So uh, I had to do this slightly different, and and I particularly looked here into you know how to how to do this with the island node because there is now an island node. But let's take a look at it. So this is what it gives you. And um, admittedly, you know, I, you know, I'm 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 not a, a, a like you know a guru in in the software. There are people out there at this point. You know, I would like to give a shout out to to Adam Garland, who uh, you know you should check him out on on ArtStation. He's just he's an absolute guru in this, and he's got some phenomenal tutorials. And I hope he's still at it. Um, the way he used to be, and from time to time, he's he's doing free Zoom uh, classes. Like anybody who's interested, if you follow him on Facebook, uh, he will announce this from time to time. So he's he's absolutely phenomenal. But anyway, so back to our island right here. So um, so here is the island, uh, what the island node is doing, and you know this is kind of like okay, what am I gonna do with it? Uh, I've tried, you know, initially to put some erosion and stuff on it, but uh, that would still always maintain some of the steep fall off here, and and that's a problem because Gaia, um, you know, it, it essentially works with height maps, and and so it doesn't, you know, something that's that's vertical uh, doesn't receive any any kind of like data, right? Uh, so if you if you imagine, you know, it's like you're importing this height map into Unreal Engine. Or whatnot, the the data is 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 all of this, but nothing of what's here on the side. So um, so we gotta we gotta break this down, and you know I had to look around for it, like what what's a good note to do this with, and so I ended up stumbling upon this note right here, which is called distance, and and you can see what what this here does, right? So you know messed around a little bit with the settings here, but ultimately. It's gonna it's gonna do this very quickly and and so this is this is a much better starting point uh, to kind of like create some some sort of like mountain in in the water and then one of my favorite notes to probably use is the aperture note which uh, kind of like creates these weird disc shapes and uh, sometimes they can look really quite organic and uh, uh, rocky uh, in this case it's it's just softening the the distance node, and and that then I followed up with a shear node, and that now now it becomes looking very organic, right? It's like a little bit, you know, we have a little little bit of a um, a, a uh, you know, it's like it's a little bit too vertical right there, but you know, ultimately we still don't have any erosion on it, and now we're we're really very close to to something that starts to look very. Um, you know, very, very realistic. So with that, then I just went to erosion two, and it's totally up to you which one you want to use. Uh, you know, in in the erosion notes, obviously you've got you know now erosion one, erosion two, wizard one, wizard two, thermal one, thermal two. So you just you know uh, uh, play around and whatever whatever you like, really. And and the erosion did a did a really good job, right? So. So this now starts to look very much like something we can use for an island or a mountain or, you know, whatever you want to use it for. And uh, that then, because it is an island, you know, I had to follow up with the ocean, right? So the sea, uh, you uh, can adjust here your shore size, right? So this is essentially your your beach, 
right? Uh, and, you know, in this case, this is, you know, I'd rather keep this rather small. And, and this is it. So, so the geometry for our island is done. And, and now uh, the rest is really just texturing. So in this case, I, I'm using this texture base node. Uh, one of the things you got to watch out for, and let me, let me just demonstrate this to you. So I'm going to, because I, I, I see this a lot, you know, people just putting in a sat map node uh, and without this uh, texture base node. And let me show you what happens. So I'm just going to put this in here. And you can see that you know on, on first on first uh, uh, thought this may this may look interesting or intriguing, but really what it's just doing it's just you know wrapping this on there you know and it's it's all all it does is it has a top to bottom fall off. It has no no information as to the uh, geometry of of this island. And, and what we really want is we want to, you know, we want color differences in the, in the little crevices in the, in the valleys and uh, on the ridges. That's, that's what we want. And for that, we need uh, the texture base node in between. So if I, if I instead connect this to the texture base node, uh, you can see that, you know, things have changed quite a bit. And uh, sometimes it's really good to, to uh, switch it to reverse, right? To just look what happens. So this one, you know, not necessarily my favorite, but you know, we can we can look around and see if we can find something that's maybe nicer. So this is interesting. So uh, and you can see how it reacts to 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 the the actual geometry of the of the island that was created. So, um, yeah, so this one is, is, is pretty good, right? Um, so this, this blue, you know, not my favorite, but you can dial it out right here. So you can just, you know, bring it out. There it goes. Okay. So, uh, but you can see how, how now we, we kind of like it's reacting to the ridges and it's reacting to the crevices. And, and, or crevasses, I don't know. Yeah, well, uh, feel free to correct me. Uh, so, so this now is, is, is starting to look fa fairly realistic, right? So if you bring this now into, let's say, Unreal Engine, um, this is a very large ter terrain, ultimately, and, and you can run around uh, uh, with your, with your character on this island. This texture, you know, the sat map textures uh, out of here are not gonna hold up, you know, in, in up up close, right? When your character is on there, you can see the pixelation. Uh, but it will definitely hold up from the distance. Uh, and it will, will oh, I'm planning on doing another tutorial uh, relatively soon on, you know, how to how to bring it in and how to uh, how to ultimately uh, texture it in the engine so that, that you, you know, that it looks great up close as well. Okay, so let's take a look at, you know, what we did here. So I'm just gonna delete this. Where's my delete key? There we go. So um, so instead I'm using this texture base node and you, you can see that this texture base is uh, ultimately kind of like pointing out where, you know, where, uh, uh, where this geometry is, uh, and you can clearly see that, you know, it's it's, uh, you know, in the in these little little uh, valleys, uh, it's it's you know uh, putting uh, uh, a brighter mask in than you know uh, in in some of the upper regions. So so that's what what is being used to uh, to project this texture on there. So now what I have done here is. I've, you know, I've chosen this one, uh, 123, and this is full from, you know, zero to one all the way. I, I did like this, uh, the way it, it kind of like placed the texture on there. It looked from it, from a distance, I think this looks quite good. And, uh, then we, we do, you know, need the ocean, obviously. And if you look close, uh, at our C nodes, you have, you know, I'm using the output. This is for everything, and this is what you're seeing right now. But there is a separate output for water, 
and and that is something we we can use with a mask. So we're we're now combining. So we have our set map right for for everything, and now we have a set map right here for the water. In this case, it actually you know there's there's a lot of green on there, so it, it almost looks like a, a complete thing. But this is not what I'm using. I'm I'm not using anything that's on the island. I'm not using. I'm just I'm just I just want to use this on the water. And you do this by creating a combine node. And so you put this combine node in in between there. And let me disconnect this here so uh, to demonstrate that. So the combine node isn't going to do anything without a mask. So now it's really just you know you can blend add you know whatever. It's it's just gonna. Uh, uh, you know, do whatever you ask it to, but it, what it will not do is it will not give you just this texture for the island and just this texture for the water unless you use this output, this water output, which all it is is a mask. Whoopsie, it's not going to work like that. Uh, all this is is now the mask that plugs into here, and now... We have it masked out. So we have now our island coming from this texture map and our water coming from this texture map, and they are combined with this mask out of the C node right here. And then you can see we have a shore node. So that's kind of like our beach or our fall off, kind of like more of an underwater fall off right there. And for this one, I, I just kind of like use the sand color. Uh, you know, you can you can pick any other one, but you know, I, I felt that this one looked all right, and uh, and I did the exact same thing. So now I'm coming out of of this combined node into a new combined node, and and I'm now you know looking at this and I'm combining this with my with my shore, uh, so with with the sand, and I'm combining this now with the shore mask, which is now only putting it here right so you can see right there on the edge it's putting that ring if I, let me let me go for you know this is before and this is after right so it, it adds a adds a more natural projection to this and and that's it so we we are done with our island um i hope this tutorial helped you um if it did you know give it a thumbs up uh do the subscription thing, maybe put in a comment, uh, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, have a good one. Bye-bye.